Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay. Let's continue with PTD6, uh, doing some guides, some general uh, guides on the game. Uh, and in this video, I'm gonna cover all the different ways that the game offers to detect and pop camo balloons. Uh, camos are a lot harder to pop than lead balloons because uh, there are less towers and less upgrades overall that grant camo detection. And uh, I'm using no monkey knowledge and uh, I'm not talking about monkey knowledge because there are actually some extra ways to detect camo with monkey knowledge on. I'm just leaving that out. So I'm just uh, looking at the towers by themselves and let's see uh, which one of them which one of them can um, have camo detention. So there are only two towers in the game that have camo detention by themselves without any upgrades and those towers are first of all the ninja and the second one is the spike factory so these two towers can actually um, detect camo uh, without any upgrades so base and uh, camo here we go <coughs> so um, that means that every uh, upgrade that you get on these towers uh, is gonna have camo detention because they already have it so uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it now the the easiest way that there is to have camo detention is actually uh, just building a village and upgrading it 0 2 with the 0 to upgrade of the village all the monkeys in radius of the village can detect and attack camo balloons. So, um, to all the towers that don't have camo detection or that uh, cannot in any possible way without even upgrades can detect camo, you just need a village 0 to 0 and they um, acquire the, the camo uh, detection. So, the village is one of the easiest way to uh, have the towers that you prefer the most for your strategy or that are the strongest. Uh, and despite the fact that these those towers with those upgrades may not be able to detect camo, it doesn't matter because you just need a village and you're good to go. Uh, but I'm going to just cover here pretty quickly uh, all the towers and all upgrades that um, in somehow you can detect or you can pop camo balloons. So the Dark Monkey actually has one upgrade, one upgrade that can detect camo, uh, that is the second upgrade in the third path. And therefore, uh, once you unlock it, uh, the Dark Monkey acquires camo detection. So whatever other upgrade that you get is gonna have camo detection. So that's one way to detect camo. For the boomerang, um, you don't have any upgrade that grants camo detection, but actually with the fifth upgrade in the first path, the glaives that rotate around the monkey, those glaives can actually pop uh, camos. So the, the monkey is not gonna have camo detection, but only the glaives. So if you see careful here, some ceramics camos see that the boomerang the monkey is not attacking the camos only the glaives are targeting and are popping them so uh, yeah that's one way that you can use the boomerang to detect camo just by itself uh, with the bomb you can uh, pop uh, camo balloons with the fifth upgrade in the bottom path when a life is lost is lost a bomb storm will destroy every balloon on the screen below what Zomei got. So it doesn't matter if uh, there are camos or no camos in the screen, every balloon will be destroyed. So in this case, if I spawn, for example, here, one yellow, and then I spawn, I don't know, a bunch of uh, like camos here, here and there, all camo balloons. When this yellow leaks, the bomb storm is going to destroy every balloon. So it doesn't matter if they're camo or not, you're going to destroy them. So that's one way to 
not have camo detection but destroy camos with the attack shooter and ice monkey uh, you cannot have camo detection or pop camo detection in any way other than with the activated ability uh, in the middle path of the ice tower but it's a pretty unreliable way uh, because you only pop one layer of the camo and you just uh, freeze them so uh, I mean it's a uh, one way to pop them see this pink I'm gonna activate the ability I popped the pink layer the the yellow balloon is frozen but it's still camo and uh, the ice tower do not detect camo so with the glue gunner in the same way of the um, ice tower the activated ability uh, from the fourth and fifth grade in the middle path I can glue camo balloons so you can glue them and therefore you can slow them um, and actually if you have the second upgrade in the middle path so corrosive glue on um, you're gonna actually not only glue them but also pop some layers see now pinks two reds yeah you pop four layers before the glue effect runs out and so all the pink camos are reduced to red blooms um, so that's one way to de detect and pop well actually do not not detecting but popping camo blooms and with the fifth upgrade is even better uh, because of the fact that now the layers are going to be popped faster and uh, they're the blooms are going to stay glued for longer so you can pop even more layers uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. The sniper uh, has one upgrade that grants camo detection. That is the fifth, the first upgrade in the central path. And therefore, once you get it, every with every other upgrade, you have already camo detection, so you can pop um, camo balloons. With the submarine, uh, there are two different ways to, um, well, actually three ways to. As, um, detect and pop camo balloon blooms the first one is having a submarine at least 200 and then having a tower that has camo detection so when the camo balloons enter in range of the tower uh, that has camo detection it can even be like a super monkey with a village uh, zero to zero to zero so it doesn't matter um, which tower it is if that tower has camo detention, the submarine is going to attack it. So you can see the submarine is attacking the balloons as long as the balloons stay in range of towers that can detect camo. So uh, that's one way to pop camo balloons with the submarine. Another one is just having them um, submerged with the 3040 or or um, 50 upgrade uh, and uh, you don't only um, so you don't only detect camo but you also remove the camo from the balloons so that's also one good way to um, help other towers to pop camo balloons because you remove the camo and with the fourth and fifth upgrade you actually not only detect camo with the sonar but also you pop you pop them so and then finally there is also a third way that you can um, destroy camos that is with the activated ability uh, in the middle path so with the fourth and fifth upgrade the preemptive missile strike can pop whatever balloon is in the screen that is the strongest one so DDTs that have camo properties if you use the ability, you're gonna pop the DDT into some other balloons. In this case, uh, three regrowth ceramics, and still these two I think are ceramics. There is some layers of ceramics in them because they're not regrowing back. But uh, yeah, that's one way to uh, detect, and we're well, not actually detect but pop camo balloons with the buccaneer as well. Uh, there is an upgrade that grants camo detection that is the second one 
the second upgrade in the third path. So with this upgrade, then every other upgrade, you have camo detention. Uh, with the ace and the heli, uh, the central path grants camo detention. So the second upgrade in the central path for the ace and the central path uh, second upgrade as well for the heli. For both of them, these upgrades grant camo detention. So whatever other upgrade that you get after that one, you're going to have camo detention. But um, the ace are, has also another way to pop camos that is uh, with the fifth upgrade in the, mid, in the first path. So uh, up to the fourth upgrade, you do not detect camo. But with the fifth upgrade, you actually pop them. So I don't know really why. It's pretty much like the glaives of a boomerang. With the fifth upgrade, um, you, you have camo detention. So that's two ways for the ace to pop camos. The heli is just one. So just getting the, the upgrade. The boomerang. <coughs> sorry. The boomerang as well has two different ways to uh, pop camos. The first one is, is with the third upgrade in the, cent in the bottom path. Um, and you don't only detect camo in this way, but camo balloons hit by the explosion lose their camo. So that's also one way that you can use to help other towers to uh, pop camo balloons. And also the other way that you can pop camo balloons is with the fifth upgrade in the central path. Uh, the activity ability is gonna, as it says, is gonna pop and immobilize every balloon in the screen for a few seconds. So it doesn't matter, again, if those balloons are normal or camo or whatever, um, they're gonna be, be immobilized and popped. So you can see here different balloons, I'm gonna activate the ability and the layers are popped and uh, boom. So that's another way to pop camos. With the wizard, um, there are two ways that you can pop camos. The first one is with the fifth upgrade in the first path. This uh, does not grant camo detention permanently, but also after a shockwave um, from, the, um, from the wizard uh, reveals camos. Uh, this works pretty much like a sonar of, um, of a submarine. Um, a submarine submerged 300 does not automatically detect every single camo that enters into the range. There is like a little, little delay until the, the submarine detects uh, the camos, and this happens the same for the Archmage. So, see now, for example, a bunch of greens. See that there is like a shockwave, and after the shockwave, um, all the camos lose their camo status and therefore the archmage can attack them so the archmage cannot target camo directly but after the shockwave uh, reveals the camos and this shockwave happens every few seconds so it doesn't proc uh, permanently and therefore for some fast balloons like pink balloons you may have some of them sneaking through like in this case so um yeah that's how that's how it works but uh, the wizard has a way to detect camo by itself that is the second upgrade in the bottom path with this one uh, if you get this upgrade every other upgrade has camo detention already and as well uh, the third upgrade in the bottom path as well reveals also the camo balloons um, around the wizard so this is Again, exactly the same shockwave of earlier. So this camo reveal uh, ability is not going to proc every time, but every few seconds. And therefore, uh, it's going to grant camo detection only to the... So it's going to remove the camo only to the balloons heated by the by the shockwave. So uh, yeah, that's, that's how it works. Then, um, unlike in BTD5, uh, temples, so the fourth and fifth upgrade of the temple of the first path, uh, do not have camo detention. So, 
that's a weird interaction but um yeah even a fifth tire temple so five zero zero temple do not have camo detention and yeah so but there is actually another way that you can detect camo that is with the second upgrade in the bottom path uh, that grants the super monkey uh, camo detection so you can once you get this upgrade um, you have camo detection or also a third way well a second way that there is to detect camo is with the activated abilities with the fourth and fifth upgrade in the middle path um, the activated ability is gonna destroy all the camos in radius um, so the the super monkey is not gonna attack the camos but with activated ability you can pop them so it's pretty much like a mortar the mortar activated ability uh, the ninja as I said in the beginning already has camo detection by itself uh, but also a cool uh, thing is that with the second upgrade in the middle path uh, all the balloons that are going to be attacked by the ninja lose their camo so it's a way to remove camo from the balloons and therefore help other towers to uh, pop them the alchemist has no way to detect camo or pop them the druid has two different ways to uh, detect camos the first one is with the fifth upgrade in the in the first path with this upgrade the wizard um, well the druid gets camo detention and the second way is with the 050 druid the vines these vines that grow on on top of the path can actually pop uh, every kind of balloon uh, so it doesn't matter if they are um, normal balloons or camo balloons the only balloons that are immune to the vines are lead balloons so you may have problems with camo leads but other than that um, you should be fine so I'm gonna just spawn here for example a bunch of ceramics and see that all these camo ceramics are popped just by the vines so the druid does not attack the camo balloons but the vines uh, damage them Um, and then banana farms do not attack the balloons so uh, yeah and then spike factor as I said earlier uh, can detect camo just by itself so with every upgrade you have already camo detection in the kit and lastly the village uh, you can use a village not only to uh, grant camo detection to all the towers in radius of the village but as well uh, the fifth upgrade in the first path of the village is going to add um, how it's called like a ballista to attack and this ballista even if you don't have camo detention uh, the camo detention upgrade of the village this ballista already by itself uh, can uh, detect camo so I'm going to just spawn here a bunch of ceramics so camos and you can see that the ballista attacks and pop them pops them so that's it guys that's all the towers and all the different upgrades that you can have to the tat camo i hope you enjoyed and see ya bye bye